Ooh, it's Waterford glass. Ooh. Oh, I hope there's no chips. No, it's $2.99. I'll get that. Okay, so today I am back at the Salvation Army. Um, before this, I went to an estate sale and found some awesome items. I'm going to show you at the end of this video. All right, let's get inside and see what we can find to sell on eBay. All right, the first thing I see is all of the silver. Um, from here, it looks like it's silver plated, but I have to take a closer look. It's only $14.99. So before I leave, I'm going to take a look at that. All right, let's take a look at this end cap. First thing I see is this. Oh, it's newer. It's pretty with the gold. Um, this looks like, oh, it's glass bake. I was gonna say Hazel Atlas. This one is flashed on. That's pretty. How much is that? $6.99. Um, let's see what the colors are. Blue, green, and yellow. What about this teapot? It's a ceramic or porcelain. All right, let's take a look down here. Some Italian, I think it's Italian, um, latte mugs. Ooh, here's a blue willow. <laughs> There's a chip on that. It's only $1.99. These are a little bit newer. Um, I don't, I don't think I just want a bunch of saucers. All right, let's take a look at these two wine glasses. Ooh, it's Waterford glass. Ooh. Oh, I hope there's no chips. No, it's $2.99. I'll get that. This one. I will get that too. All right, let's see about these two dishes. Carefully turn it over. Dixie, okay. I'm gonna leave that one. This one's pretty with a green transfer. Seven dollars. W M I D. All right, I'm gonna leave those. Nice Asian vase. Made in Japan. It's $5.99. And a crystal, $4.99. Um, I think I sold this before. It took forever to sell. <laughs> We'll see if this is a Waterford Bell. It's definitely crystal. I don't think it's Waterford though. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Let's see about this picture. That looks like Japan. How much is that? $5.99. I'm waiting for these to go. I'm gonna get these when they're half off. Get the pair because that is pretty though with a silver mill flurry. I don't think I looked at this one. Yeah, gotta leave it. All right up here we have a gravy national china made in Japan. I thought this was Blendo at first. $6.99. I think that's a little bit newer though. That is missing the top. I think I've seen that before. Oh, what about the spongeware? Animals, folk craftsmen. Hmm. We have this cute little squirrel. <laughs> oh, the Grace's tea where some of this stuff is worth picking up. I don't think about the squirrel though. I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> um, I just saw another reseller leave. 
as I was coming in. But she could have missed some stuff. United States Capitol. Yeah, Reynolds Company. Hmm. Two ninety nine. There's another one. A little bowl. Homer Laughlin. Ooh, there's some flow blue. This is all chipped and cracked. I know some of the blue willow is still worth picking up if it's cracked and chipped. I'm probably missing something. Nantucket. What about this set? That's pretty with a purple flowers and then silver. Funky bowl. Ooh, it's Pottery Barn. Made in Japan. I'm gonna stick that in. $2.99. I always pick up Pottery Barn. This cool little teapot. Some Asian markings. Okay. This. Okay, it's a plastic. China Lumu. <laughs> it's a nice platter down here. Oh, it's sticky. Aye. Right over here, I see more of a milk glass. sure about those. I never saw that texture. I wonder if somebody painted that. I can't tell. They look really faded, so I'm going to leave them. Okay, enough with the mugs. Alright, down here, notice the Case Logic um, CD holder. It's only $1.99. That'd be easy to store and ship. You probably get like $20 for it. 2025. But that's a good brand to pick up. Case Logic. What else do we have? It's a cool vase. It's a little newer. This belongs with this vase. There. It's complete. <laughs> now this down here. Oh, I wasn't expecting the underplate to be attach. That's the Mayflower Carefree. I don't think that sells for too much. It's Syracuse, China. That's $2.99. Down here, some mid-century Noritake. It's a pretty um flower. Pink rose. Christmas tin. Oh, that's still here. I wish it wasn't all beat up. Okay. Alright. We have all the figurines at this end cap. See if there's anything new. I think I picked that up before. Can't... What does that say? Ah, oh, it's ripped off. She's cute. Down here we have all this um, glass nativity set. Let's see how many there are. Whoops. Um, there's the... I don't see Jesus though. Wait. Okay, it goes that way. Actually, I don't see too much resale value in these. They don't seem like they're good quality, even though they're 79 cents each. Six. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave that. Got the strawberry shaker. 
cute cat, which I seen last time. I keep picking it up. <laughs> These two are cute. Oh. They're a dollar. It's probably sell for about, I don't know, five to eight dollars. Nothing in the vases. It's kind of cool swirl design. We're down to the clear aisle. These aren't clear though. <laughs> Amber with a gold rim and a cool design. Well, the scratches. I wonder who makes them though. That's the question. Hmm. Do you know they're two dollars each? That'd be twelve dollars. Um. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna get four for now. I'll put four of them in the car and maybe do a Google lens search, but it's hard to get a signal in here. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Hmm. I believe this was here before the gold rim. It doesn't seem like a uh, high enough quality for me to pick it up. It is pretty though with the gold and that little design on the rim. We have a chip and dip bowl without the dip bowl though. It's a little bit newer. I would say from the 80s. <laughs> it's $3.99. Ooh, look at these cool blue glasses. It's just glass. A dollar each. These might be ones I um, pick up at Walmart. Is that Libby? No, I don't see a mark. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? This is different. Oh, I don't think that belongs to it. We have the Irish coffee wine glass. Hmm. This is France on it. Let's see what's in this box. Careful. Okay. Ah, just regular wine glasses. Never know, there might be um, back rat. Down here we have a porcelain bowl with a gold rim. Hey, it's Asian. Oh, is this Pyrex? Mr. Coffee. Oh, that's cool. Probably from the 1980s. Hmm. Over here we have a sterling silver fan vase. I'm pretty sure that's uh, sterling. It's probably marked sterling somewhere, but it's hard to find. So it's only $4.99. I'll get that and I don't see any chips or damage. Yay! That goes in the cart. All right, I found this nice little crystal dish. I believe it's Fostoria. I know I have to look up in my um, glass book, but it's only a dollar, so I'm going to get that. Um, what was down here? Yarn and Hawthorne. What is that? Let's take a look. Ah. Can't do it with one hand. <laughs> Rockwell Studio. Okay. Porch, porch light collection. Hmm. I'm thinking of something else. Ooh, I noticed this. I have the same one that my grandpa gave us. Yeah, it's the same exact. <laughs> and we have the original box. Ooh, $4.99. No, I don't need another one. Got that for sentimental reasons. All right, let's see what they have in the wood section. I think that's my most favorite section, actually. <laughs> I don't know why. It looks like it might be, oh, I'm not good with my wood. See, that's not cedar. I'm not sure. There's some paint on there. 
Ooh, over here, looks like a mid-century Hollywood, um, yeah, does that open up? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I had to move because there was somebody behind me. Um, so I did a little research. Right in the middle, it's hard to see, it says Creative Containers Corporation. So I did look it up. I couldn't find any information on it. So for $6, I think I'm going to leave it. If it was about $3, I would get it because it is mid-century. I'm just trying to figure out what this was used for. Maybe sewing or put it in your bathroom. Dresser. Hmm. All right, I'm not seeing anything else, but I'm, I put back the amber glasses. I couldn't find any information on it, so I'm getting that. The Waterford, the Fostoria, and the silver, and the CD case, and maybe this organ. <laughs> oh boy, I want to have room for that. Ooh. Nice mid-century chairs. I like the orange velvet. All right, welcome to the haul part of video of everything I got at the estate sale. Let's start with these two. Um, these are Cupie Babies. Um, it came with a dress and the little head thing. Um, and it is marked on the back. Let me show you. Um, Cameo 1967. I paid $5 for both of them, so $2.50 each. And I'm probably going to list them for about $50, 40 to $50 each. So that was a great deal. And then we got the Saltine Cracker tin. Um, there's some rust on it, and it's pretty dirty on the outside. I didn't want to scrub it because the paint will come off. But this is from 1967. It sells between $8 to $12, I would say for my research so I might keep this <laughs> I'll go good over here with the rest of the blue and then I got these two picture frames in the back it says made in Italy I paid two dollars for those oh what does that say Mots. Oh, these are not antique I believe these are definitely a uh, vintage but since it said made in Italy I knew to pick them up I'm not sure how much I could get for them though does that say something? No. And then I found this little guy. This is E.T. It, it is pretty beat up, but it's from 1982 K-Man. Um, this sells in this condition between 70 to over $100, so I definitely picked that up. Yeah, the brown is coming off. Um, next is this copper and these little dishes. I'm not sure what these are used for, but it is marked Georgian Copper. I believe that's what it was, Georgian 306. Um, some of the stuff doesn't sell too well, but this, since it's a set, I could probably get like $50 and I only paid $2, and I paid 5 for the ET. And then I got the Fenton Silvercrest Bowl. It's marked on the bottom, Fenton. Um, I only paid a dollar for that. I'm probably going to list it for 10 to $12, only because it's small. I, I already knew there wasn't that high of a resale value on it, but it's small and it's easy to store and ship. And then this... I got the Salvation Army. I just wanted to correct myself. This is Cambridge, not Fostoria. And then over here, these vintage choir boys. On the bottom, it's marked Schmid Brothers. I only paid a dollar for that, and I could probably get like $24, $25 for that. And then this, I love. It says Season's Greeting. No markings on the back, but I did a Google Lens search, and it is made by Everbright. Probably get, like, since it's Christmas, I would say $30. There's other ones that sell for $10 to $20. But this is special and in good condition. 
a little bit of dirt there. I tried washing it off, but I didn't want it to get ruined. So I kind of let it, left it alone. All right, and the last thing I got is um, these vintage boots. Um, they're pretty beat up. I thought maybe they were fry boots. I didn't really look. To me, they looked like fry. But it says made in Brazil, and there's a number there, eight and a half B. Um, I probably should have left them, actually. If it said fry on them, it'd be worth picking up, but look at that. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to do a little more research and see if it's worth listing. But anyways, I only paid a dollar for those. Okay, so my total spend at the estate sale was only $20. That was the best deal I had in a while. Um, I'm going to go try to list some of these items, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye, E.T. Ha <laughs> ha.